So hi guys, welcome back. I've decided to come out for an evening session at this beautiful location. Um, and apparently there's great um, amounts of short-eared owl here and the odd hen harrier and a long-eared. Um, so I've just turned up, I kind of stab in the dark. I'm in the middle of a, a massive field and um, I think I'm in the right place. But we'll soon find out when the, uh, it gets a little bit later in the day. It's now about sort of quarter to six. So I'm hoping soon we might get a bit of action and get some birds out. But this is my view at the moment. I think you'll agree. That's not bad at all. That's pretty wonderful. Yep, just a massive field in the middle of a valley. Pretty lush. All we need now is some short-eared owls. So we've already had the... Uh, female hen harrier in already, um, just caught ring down below here. Managed to get a little bit of footage of it um, hunting. Um, it went in deep somewhere and didn't come up. So uh, great start though, hen harrier already, uh, female. Absolutely fantastic to see. Let's hope we get some more and hopefully maybe some short-eared owls. As that sun sets, it's gonna be a cracking evening tonight, hopefully with some golden light. And we'll bring you a bit of a short vlog um, just on some of these birds, absolutely fantastic. So I really don't really know which way to look at the minute. I've got um I've got a male to my left and I had a female to the right and then I had um, the female and male have a little bit of a I thought they were having a bit of a disagreement and it was actually a food pass and then the female took it off into the plantation over there um, fantastic it was way off, I missed it totally but I saw it um, but it had been it had been really really small on the, on the uh, video but uh, fantastic things are certainly starting to liven up now so uh, hopefully we'll have uh, the hen harriers back in and maybe the shorties as well hopefully be coming out relatively soon well, it's all action now. Um, the uh, hen harry has been out and the short-eared owl's been out. I've got a short-eared owl at the moment. I did have, oh, it's still there in a tussock of grass at the moment, having a bit of a debacle with uh, the female hen harrier. Um, it's all going off and I'm in the middle of it. It's uh, fantastic though. I didn't even see it was a short-eared until I think it flushed it from the ground. Um, but yeah, fantastic, back to it. So this is pretty bonkers. We've got uh, two short-eared owls having a fight and another short-eared owl on its own hunting. And we've had hen harriers in. Um, it's it's non-stop. Um, my knees are soaking wet. In fact, there's a shorty now. Oh, lovely, it's on a post. Great to see. Such a shame it's so far off. But here we go. So so far that's three hen harries, two ringtail females. A male, sub-adult male, uh, that's four short-eared owls and they're kind of all around me at the minute and uh, to be honest I've just had a sub-adult male hen harrier fly along this fence line here and um, wasn't bothered about me at all. Um, yeah, amazing, just don't know which way to look at the moment. Keep hearing the harriers call, they're having a lot of trouble with the shorties and they're having a bit of a fallout, they seem to have gone their own ways now. Um, but yeah, it's mental, absolutely. A concentration of birds like that in one space is just incredible, really. So that's six, six birds, you know, in a space of, God, I don't know. It's just compact and there's a lot of um, disputes going on. But fantastic, it really is. So currently here we've got a, um, a red deer in velvet 
and it's looking absolutely fantastic. Just coming down the hill, lovely. Yeah, that's great. So we've got red deer in the mix now as well. Unbelievable. <laughs> Curlew all around as well, I can hear. It's just alive in here. It really is such a great spot. That wind's getting up a bit cheeky now. It's blowing the lens around a bit, which doesn't do good for the video, but still, it's uh, not much I can do about that, as always. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed that um, evening session here with the uh, owls and the harriers. It's been fantastic. Came to a location knowing where they roughly were. Didn't really expect to see what I saw. You know, in the end, that's two males, two female hen harriers, four short-eared owls. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic in such a small area. It's, it's been kind of on and off. Um, but at one point they were all around me and I was just like, didn't know which way to turn. But uh, to get that is just something you just don't get very often. But obviously here on an island like this, obviously their concentration of prime habitat here, um, it's going to be quite highly competitive. So it will attract a lot of the birds of prey and stuff. But yeah, absolutely cracking way to top off my uh, fantastic day. And um, I hope you've all enjoyed it, guys. Lots more to come from my mull adventures um, very soon. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So hi guys and uh, welcome back. This is the day after I uh, initially went and did the shorties and hen harriers. Um, did a recce this morning for some otters, didn't quite work out, it just seems to be really, really hard at the minute. And I checked out a fallow deer site as well and, and no luck there either. Um, so I've decided to come back to the spot with a hen harrier. Uh, I've just got set up and I was charmed to see a sub-adult male, different one than yesterday just coming through, doing a circuit around, um, a bit of a hunt, and um, yeah, just came right past me, managed to get a couple shots with the, um, just with 100 to 400, whilst it was going past. Now all rigged up, ready to go. It's um, really hot, and it's in the peak of the day, so not ideal for pictures, but I'm gonna get set up here. Um, just sit back, chill out, enjoy the day, have some lunch, just watch the birds, listen to the curlews, see what comes along, and um, hopefully come sort of five, six, seven o'clock again. We'll get some, um, get some action hopefully, and maybe a bit in between, but the, as I said, the shots are gonna be a little bit blown out because of that harsh light. But uh, nevertheless, back again, and um, this time hopefully we'll get a bit more, uh, bit more footage, a bit closer up maybe, and a, and a couple uh, closer shots as well. But uh, it's cracking to be here, and uh, yeah, excited. So I just had another sub-adult male, um, a little bit more mature this time. You can see all its, um, its sort of grey white coming through and uh, it literally set up here and it flew right along, right past me. I absolutely froze and just, the camera's there. I just thought, well, as soon as I move, it's gonna make me straight away and then it won't come back around this way again. So I just froze, it stayed there and it went right past me hunting in front of me. And, uh, and then off it went down through the middle. <sighs> Close, closest I've ever been to a hen harry in my life, that. Um, amazing. I don't know if it made me at all, but it wasn't bothered. But if I'd have moved and started firing off the shutter, it would have, um, it would have undone everything today and it would just completely avoid this area and then I'd be stuffed and then it would just be at distance then. Plus I don't really want to be um, changing its behavior um, because I'm in its hunting area. I've tucked myself away outside the rocks. I, I've got an idea where the nests are and they're well away from here, um, over in the hills over there somewhere, um, which I saw them at yesterday because I could hear the young when I was walking along the path. Uh, so yeah, well and truly away from them. And uh, oh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic to see that. Um, yeah, happy days. Crap for pictures, mind, because the, the light is terrible. But um, yeah, still great to see it.
Well, it's absolutely Scorchio. Um, I'm glad I wore black today. <laughs> um, wasn't really forecast to be that decent. Um, just very cloudy today. Um, but still, things happen, when weather changes. Um, but God, yeah, roasting. Just had the first two owls out, uh, two shorties, that had a bit of a disagreement. Um, quite high up in the air, a little bit of a tussle and turning, and then one went off, and it's gone down in the, like, amongst a load of bog grass so i think that's possibly where it's um where it's nesting quite away from here across the other side and i don't know where the other shorty went went off um over towards the forest that way um but nice to see at the moment you know it is just nice to sit and watch to be honest the heat haze is ter terrible at the minute um it's also known as atmospheric distortion um the lens barrels get really hot um, you get the heat haze in the pictures, you lose the detail. Pictures are pretty crap, and so is the video. So, um, unless I get a real good close up opportunity, I'll probably just sack it and bide my time and wait for later when hopefully the light will be less harsh and uh, that heat haze will drop. And then um, there's not much you can really do about the heat haze, unfortunately. It is one of those things. But uh, still, it's just great to be out and, uh, and to watch the birds flying around. Well, it's been a, a fair few hours since I last spoke on the vlog, and uh, apart from it being absolutely boiling, um, I've had lots and lots of um, the subadult male hen harrier has been in constantly hunting around up over the hills, um, back through again, coming back with prey. There's been quite a lot of interaction with um, the short eared owl. I think I know where the short eared is actually nesting and constant attack, the short-eared owls coming out and then driving the uh, hen harrier away and they're going up and doing a bit of an aerial, um, an aerial battle and I'll just show you that in the next clip um, of that. But uh, it's really, really far off. Um, a lot of the stuff here today is a considerable distance but still, it's great just to be here and watch it. I'm having one of those days and I don't know whether you guys as photographers, um, naturalists, you know, whatever, have days where things just do not go right. I can't focus for toffee today. Uh, I just, it just doesn't seem to be coming together. The camera's not focusing properly. Um, it's just one of those days where things just aren't happening, uh, which is really frustrating. Um, if you get any particular days, um, let us know, any funny ones. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but at the end of the day, you know, it's great to be out and uh, you can't get them all every time. But uh, yet yeah, now it's about kind of 10 to four and I'm hoping in a couple hours there'll be a bit more action and they'll be coming out a bit more often. But uh, it's still great, it's still great to see some stuff here. I've only seen the one shorty and I've seen um, just the one harrier at the minute. So maybe as the, uh, as the day goes on, maybe then a few more might pop out. It's all gone a bit quiet on the uh, hen harrier front, but uh, it's just been altastic. I've just had, um, just in here, just had two shorties having a, a right good go at each other. And um, my focus was just not locking on anything. Um, I can't understand it, I do know what's going on. But, um, so I changed my settings very quickly whilst, in, whilst they were in front and then literally managed to hammer off a few good shots. And hopefully you'll see that in the next, um, in the next clip there with a little bit of um, there we go this is live on camera now food pass
Please tell me I got it. Oh. I hope you could get that on camera. That was the uh, hen harrier, male and female, food pass, calling away, food dropped, job done. Unfortunately, the focus was not working again and it just locked onto the mountain behind. Um, so I got absolutely shite shots there. Um, what a pain. It's a serious problem at the moment with my focusing. I'm gonna have to look at that when I get back. That's just, you know, I've missed a classic moment there of a food pass um, and I've been missing those all day and they've been quite distant, but that's the closest. Um, what a pain, what an absolute pain. But still, the shorted owls, absolutely fantastic. I'll just play you that um, short clip of the shorty um, just hunkered down in the grasses in front and then just a couple of uh, images that I took. But uh, yeah, can't win them all, but uh, got there eventually. Well guys, that concludes the second session with the, um, with the shorted owls and the hen harrier. It's been fantastic, it really has. You know, I've um, had a bit of issue with my focus system. I don't understand what's going on. It's nothing um, that I've done that's not any different than normal. So it could be an issue there with the camera, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna have to get that checked out because I've missed quite a few shots today, which ultimately would have been great. But still, I've nailed a couple. That's the main thing, got some of those in the bag. It's not a total loss, but I uh, hope you really enjoyed the vlog, guys. Um, another one from Mole, um, from me. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please give us a, uh, a thumbs up and leave a comment if you would. All good for the uh, crazy YouTube algorithm thing. And uh, for those that don't subscribe to the channel, fancy um, giving me a go for a bit, um, please, you know, click that subscribe button and click that bell to be notified of any new vlogs coming out. But from me, in a beautiful place amongst Harriers and Owls, I'll see you all next time. So guys, welcome back to Short Eared Owl and Hen Harrier day three. Decided to um, give this area a go again um, because I'm staying till really late tonight because um, it's kind of effectively my last night. Um, so I'm gonna stay out until nine, half nine if I can. And um, hoping to get a nice sunset, maybe um, some good shots maybe of the, of the Harriers and the owls. But um, so I really wanna focus on some video today um, of, the, of the owl, which I don't really have a great deal of. Um, for this vlog so uh, yeah gonna uh, stay here till late it's about two o'clock now so um, seven and a half hours to go and I've been here since 12 o'clock so uh, yep looking forward to it it's nice I've seen loads already um, lots of hen harrier to and froing um, lots of uh, short-eared owl every now and then um, and the buzzard came through yep great to be here on the last day the last full day before I hit the road tomorrow and head back home. So just had a, um, a buzzard come through. I think it was a buzzard coming quite low across the, uh, the grass here. And uh, short eared came up boof, straight and uh, had a go at the buzzard and then literally chased the buzzard quite a distance um, away from its sight. Um, 
remarkable to see. He managed to do a little bit of filming um, at distance just to get that bit of behavior there. Um, fantastic to see it let out a, um, a call, an aggressive call, and then the buzzard sort of just didn't want to hit it really and then just literally peeled off um, and uh, off it went. But yeah, fantastic to be able to just show you that little bit in the next clip. So I just had a, a pretty special moment. The sub-adult male came right in front of me, um, spun the camera around, locked on, fired a load off. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And then I went and did some video as well and got a bit of video of it hunting across. Went and looked at my images before, realized that I'd um, left the lens on manual focus. So all the shots I took with the stills are all out of focus. Oh man, I was gutted, absolutely gutted. And um, I thought this is never gonna happen again. And literally five minutes later, it came past again and I managed to nail some shots. And I've got one of it just looking straight at the camera with a wing, sort of wing flick, just looking straight at me. Um, this time, autofocus on and I nailed the shot. Probably my best hen harrier picture so far so yeah i'll just show you that next absolutely made up with that really am um brilliant absolutely superb So I've got to say, Mull is absolutely, you know, a mecca. It is the mecca for the photographer, naturalist, birder, and someone that loves landscape photography as well, I guess. And, and it's just ticked so many boxes. And one good thing about here is the sheer concentration of wildlife in small areas. Like at home, when I'm trying to go out and get birds of prey, and, you know, it's such a vast area and the chances of finding something that day is like a needle in a haystack so somewhere like this you literally have got the concentration of of um, birds in one place you know you've got here you've got four hen harrier you've got four short-eared owl you know all within you know stones throw if you like and that just brings up so many uh, more possibilities especially with success rate with the pictures I mean I've nailed a few fairly decent shots since I've been here and it takes me sometimes at home months and months to get anything like that. But here, because you've got the species in abundance in small areas, it just increases your chances so much more. So uh, if you haven't been to Mull, check it out. I mean, and you know, there's, there's stacks of places to stay. You have to get ahead of the game, I think, with, um, with booking because obviously it's pretty, um, it's pretty busy. There's lots of people that want to come here and um but yeah it absolutely well worth a visit and i will be coming back again it is absolutely amazing
So we have a new hen harrier. This is a, a full adult male. Absolutely cracking looking bird. Fantastic. Um, he's, well he's well away. But I'm going to get a, a bit of footage. Um, he is amazing. It'd be cracking if he uh, comes over this way. Because he is a beauty. Oh yes, what a, what a bird. Oh man. He's gone way off the back, but he's a cracker. Mm -hmm. 